Well, it's a series of sculptures, of ephemeral sculptures that we place in the public space of the city, on benches. It's like a group of human-like anthropomorph uh, figures that inhabit benches in the public space and furniture in the public space. What happens a lot is that people, it, it, they, they, the sculptures uh, produce a kind of, uh, they produce an interference in the public space. They produce some visual noise, some, I think interference is the right word, because people react to them. They, they don't understand what they're looking at, so they don't know if, it's, uh, if there is a person inside, if it's a, what, what it is, you know? So this is why people look at them. It's great pleasure doing this workshop together with the students and having them as the assistants taking care, maintaining, building, taking them apart. It was a great time to have this lovely bunch of collaborators, really good. When I see the reactions here, people also get a bit scared. I think that there is a history of um, having a lot of homeless people in Manchester, also in this neighborhood. So I think people get confused and I have the feeling it's related to the homeless issue that they wonder what the person is in, like what kind of state the person might be in. And therefore I think people get scared, to be honest people get scared here, like more than I, I felt it in other places. Um, and then of course they, they try to understand what is it that they are looking at and I think it's um, it's interesting it's basically what it produces people get confused people get irritated maybe a tiny bit scared but then they walk around and they understand hey it's just plastic so it's kind of transgressing fear it's working with fear as a trigger for imagination and associations